like who are three influences of yours, whether it's uh, people or things like books or art that have influenced your outlook on life? Mm, I, I try to stick to uh, books as a source of influence for myself as, um, as a writer, well, attempt of writer, as I say, in my Instagram account, because I don't believe myself to be a writer yet. <clears throat> well, do you write? I like to write uh, poetry, but uh, I'm pretty good with writing in general. I, I can write an essay or um, an opinion or whatever. I, yeah. I'm very good at it. I, I have to, <laughs> without um, being too generous with myself, um, I will admit that I, I'm a good writer in general, but I'm still polishing and trying to improve my skills in poetry in general. For example, yeah. I, I haven't been able to write much poetry in English. Okay. Yeah, I was Mostly. looking for uh, some translation, but I couldn't find it of your, uh, your poems. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I don't have one. <clears throat> um, I have some poems in English, but uh i haven't shown those yet and yeah i'm pretty insecure about them uh for for me it's rather hard to write the same as the same way as i write in spanish because yeah um even though i i can uh I can manage, uh, I can speak English and write it down uh, very fluently. I still struggle to find the right words or the right rhymes. And it's actually very hard to find rhymes or to rhyme in English. It's mm. like nightmarish. And in Spanish, it's like, like so easy. Really? Like we have many similar word endings that we can... Uh, apply to other words and they will easily and in English it's just a nightmare because you cannot find rhymes in English uh, just writing down words okay. because one word ending might be pronounced in a different way compared yeah. to other word with the same letters ending like yeah it's weird <laughs> it's very <laughs> weird and makes it harder for me to write so what, okay, what three books then? Three books. Yeah. Mm, I'm looking at my library right now. Um, I will have to choose. Um, well, one of the books that influenced me the most in my school years was called Our Shadows, Nuestras Sombras, okay. which was wrote by a uh, Chilean author. It's about a little girl that struggles through her poverty and her teenage. And she has to grow up, because, not because she wants to, but because life pushed her into growing up. She had to. Otherwise, yeah. she wouldn't keep up with her life. And I think it's very inspirational how life um, te tests us constantly mm -hmm. with um, problems or feuds with friends or uncertainty. And that makes you grow mm -hmm. because you have to grow over it. Yeah. Because you, you have to choice. You have to make a choice. You cannot just go without taking choices in life and that's what this book is mostly about and it's very inspirational for me like it's one of my favorite books is it in english uh no it's in spanish okay unfortunately maybe there's a translation but i i doubt it i'll try and find one <laughs> yeah. but i'm not sure i'll find it nice all right what are some other books other book, um, I will say that the other book I really like, it's like 
uh, love poems from Alfonsina Storni, which, uh, which is uh, an Argentinian poet. And she's, she had a tragic life, like with uh, broken hearts, despair and suffering, but always she knew like she had to pay that price for love like she had to suffer for love and it could sound very intense but it really inspires when i'm writing because uh she didn't conceal feeling her feelings okay and she actually died very tragically she killed herself throwing herself to the sea in the rocks and she disappeared oh. and was never to be found it's, uh, and well, her life and even her end, which was tragic, it was poetic, I think. Yeah, it's very, uh, very fitting, it sounds like. It sounds very fitting and yeah. very uh, magical in some maybe um, distorted sort of way. But yeah, <laughs> kind of like she was uh, very really going according to what she was writing like yeah. she never concealed her feelings she mm -hmm. always write about how she felt about her love about her friends about what where she was living at and that really inspires me yeah absolutely okay another another book okay last book um that one i will say um okay this is a very nerdy choice i will say um aaron's book about politics like what is politics i don't know the exact translation in english but i um the title in spanish is directly translated to what is politics <clears throat> and well that book has many interesting thoughts and questions about uh, the matter of power within our society, how society understands power and how society um, how somehow distorts the idea of politics in general. It, um, it's a book that I discovered when I started to uh, have lectures in political theory. And it was a great discovery. Like I fell in love with my career I fell in love with political theory in general, which is one of the fields I'm most interested on in political science. And it encouraged me to be more critical and to see around me and don't stick to my own ideas, but to be constantly questioning myself into building more accurate, more... Um, I don't know how to say it, um, more um, real yeah. point of view, more real point of view or approach to real life and to the real world. Hmm. Interesting. 